Hi, I'm Lou Ann Johnson. I started writing when I was 10 years old and I just can't seem to stop. And my latest project is the new improved version of Teaching Outside the Box, how to grab your students by their brains. First of all, if you're a teacher, I want to say thank you very much for teaching because I know that teaching can be emotionally exhausting, spiritually draining, physically demanding work. But on the days you get it right, it's worth all that trouble. But I want to thank you. And in fact, that's the first chapter in the revised book. It's called Dear Teacher, an Open Letter. Dear Teacher, thank you. Thank you for choosing to use your time and talents teaching students when you had so many other career options, most of which offer better pay, more comfortable working conditions, and much more respect from the general public than teaching does. Thank you for taking yet another exam to prove your competence, although you've already completed five or more years of college and hundreds of dollars worth of standardized tests. Thank you for continuing to teach higher level thinking skills and advanced academics in spite of having test after test after test added to your curriculum requirements without any additional instruction time. Thank you for getting up every day at 5 or 6 a.m. to go to a graceless room, bathed in artificial light, a windowless closet, or a dilapidated trailer, and for coping with the malfunctioning or non-existent air conditioning and heating. Thanks for eating your lunch out of a paper bag, on a folding chair, in a sparsely furnished lounge where a working coffee maker is a treat and a functioning microwave is a luxury. Thanks for spending your so-called time off grading papers, making lesson plans, and attending professional development conferences, committee meetings, restructuring meetings, parent teaching conferences, school board meetings, and continuing ed classes. Thank you for consistently giving respect to children who don't know what to do with it, and don't realize what a valuable gift you are offering. Thank you for taking on one of the most difficult, challenging, frustrating, emotionally exhausting, mentally draining, satisfying, wonderful, important, and precious jobs in the world. Thank you for being a teacher. You truly are an unsung American hero, and you have my respect and my gratitude. That's the short version of the, the letter. And if you know a teacher that needs to be thanked, please ask them to watch this video. The other things in this book, my goal is to help teachers to create those classrooms that they dreamed of having when they became teachers. To bring back the joy of learning and the joy of teaching. What are some other things in this book? Let me see. I'll have to look at the table of contents because you know how nervous... Well, maybe you don't get nervous when a camera's pointing at you, but I do, even if it's my own camera in my own living room here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Okay. I grew up in northwestern Pennsylvania, where it starts snowing in October and snows through May, and that's why I live in the, in the desert, where I can complain about the heat. Anyway, so I talk about how to develop your teacher persona. Not a fake persona, but how you want people to perceive you, because your students are going to perceive you in two-tenths of a second, because that's how long it takes for people to decide whether or not they like another person. It doesn't give us much time, but teachers are good. Start with a smile. That's my big thing. People that make teaching look easy have figured out that the first day and the first moments of the first day set the tone for the rest of the term or the rest of the year. If you get it right, it changes everything. If you get it wrong, it's, you have to paddle upstream for a while to catch up. So I have some techniques um, and suggestions for things you can do on the first day. How to create a positive discipline plan where good behavior is the norm, and how to deal with a bad behavior so that you separate the child from the behavior. Love the child, hate the behavior. How to motivate reluctant readers. That's a big one. And I actually, that seemed, I seem to have a talent for getting gangsters and wannabe gangsters and people who hate books to sit down and read. And so I try to share with you what I learned about that. Some really interesting research about the effects of natural light versus artificial light on learning. And the statistics are, are incredible. Um, the connection between brain and learning and food. What we eat and drink really has a big effect on our brains. Um, and I have a link on my website called The Big Fat Problem, which has one of the um, sections out of here. I have my top 10, 12 motivational strategies. And I have the posse update to tell you where the students that were portrayed in Dangerous Minds are today along with my appendix with some suggested resources. I can't suggest everything I think is wonderful, but um, it's a good start. So, again, if you know a teacher that needs to be thanked, please show them the, the tape, at least the beginning of it. Check this book out. If you don't like it, 
There's an email link on my webpage. You send me an email and tell me what needs to be in it, and the next time I revise it, I will definitely consider putting that in. Thanks a lot, and thanks for teaching. Hasta la vista.